Hello YouTube, what's up? Welcome to my very first video tutorial series on programming tips and tricks using C. I hope you are going to enjoy this video tutorial series. Before I start, I assume that you have a basic knowledge of C programming language. If you don't have, then go and watch other tutorials of C programming language and then come back to get the extra cool things. First of all, I'm going to show you uh, the topics that I will be covering throughout this tutorial series. So let's see. So these are the topics that I will be covering throughout my tutorial series. Input output mistakes. We'll look into the printf and the scanf functions and what are the things that we can do using that and what are the mistakes that we do and how you can avoid them. Then we have operators. We'll look into the chapter operators and we'll see what are the types of operators and uh, and how we can use them and what are the common mistakes that we do then data types same thing all the data types available in the C programming language and what are the mistakes that we do and uh, and we'll look into the typecasting and what are the mis common mistakes that we do during typecasting and then control statements if statements switch statements and all those things and we'll look into the uh, methods to avoid the mistakes usually in control statements then storage classes specifier like constant volatile uh, static auto all those things will look during the coverage of this chapter storage classes specifier functions then we have arrays and strings pretty much self-explanatory then pointers we we'll look into the pointers what are the how you can um, use pointers to do cool things and we we'll look into the function pointer also and then we have structures and unions macros and file handlings so we'll start with input output mistakes so let's get started i will be using visual studio 2013 if you are comfortable with uh, turbo c c++ then you can use that and uh, if you are linux user then you can use the default compiler available like CC and GCC compiler in Linux operating system. So let's start with input output mistakes. So <coughs> the basic input function available in C language is scanf. And the format of scanf is something like this. We'll having a control string and then we'll have the arguments. Control string usually refers uh, to like formatting the input if you might be reading a an integer from a console window so you have to specify the format to specify box fd and along with some message if you want like uh no only percent d and then uh the variable with ampersand sign that's it for scan of and print of we have control string argument so if you want to print the variable then you are going to need these arguments if you don't want to print the variables then you just need to specify the control string which will be a valid string so that is printf so let's get started with printf and scanf so the first thing is i have included studio.h and here printf so first thing is printf a b c d e f g plus 3 equals so this is just a uh, to formatting so here is the main thing a b c d e f and then i have given plus 3 so what will be the output of this statement so as we have we can see this is the string right control string and we have a specified plus 3 so what plus does is so whatever the number we have given here here we have given 3 so what it does is it will skip the three characters from the beginning of the string so abc will be skipped and the output of this statement will be defgh so we'll run the program and we'll see but first let's see this once again abcdefgh plus 5 equals what will be the output if the statement is this print of abcdef G and then plus 5 so as we can see 
the number specified is phi so what it does is phi symbol from phi characters from the beginning will be, will be skipped so a b c d e phi symbol so we'll get the output f g h so the output of this will be f g h so <coughs> next thing we have is suppose we gave only percent d without any variable in print up like if you have to print a number integer value onto the console window then you have to specify here like var1 comma var2 corresponding to each percent d right but suppose if we don't give var variables and we only give percent d so what it does so what it will do it will just print the garbage value available in the memory location pointed by this percent d format specifier so it will have something like 1 2 3 4 5 6 not exact but the garbage value so it will print something like this so it will have within the range of the integer it will print some garbage value so the output of this will be garbage value now here in this print of statement as you can see for each variable we need to add a percent d but here we forgot to give one percent d so what it does is it will just take the first one and first first number corresponds to this percent d and the second seven number will be skipped because there is no percent there is no format specifier so it won't get printed so the output of this line will be this statement will be phi next we'll see this statement in this statement as you can see it's a same as this one what we have seen so here what's happening is 3 then plus then a string and then plus 2 so what's happened is what will happen here is you might be thinking okay abc from the beginning and fgh from the this end so that is not the correct thing the thing is what were the number specified here and here add that so we'll get something like 3 plus 2 which is equals to 5 okay so what it does is it will skip 5 characters from the beginning so a b c d e will be skipped and the output will be f g h c it's same as this one just a different representation then so you might be thinking like why do we need to do this so suppose you are doing a network programming and you might have a function which returns an address like this with the domain name along with the IP address so if you have google.com along with the IP address like 192.168.115.21 so you might want to remove these things in order to connect to the server so you need only IP address so how you can do that so we'll we'll skip the first this thing just by saying plus 15 because this characters count is 15 so the output of this will be 192.168.115.21 so let's run this and we'll check each statement onto the console window so let's run this yes as you can see a b c d e f g h plus 3 as i told you the n number will be n character will be skipped from the string so number here is 3 so 3 character is skipped d e f g h so you can see d e f g h next we have which plus 5 so 5 num 5 character will be skipped so a b c d e f so the output will be f g h as 5 is specified so 5 characters is skipped from the beginning next i told you about this thing the garbage value will get printed because we missed the variables which needs to be printed so we haven't specified the variable name that's why we got two garbage value as you can see it's pretty big in number next we'll see uh, this thing statement 5 and 7 as i told you for 7 we haven't specified any uh, format specifier that's why the 7 will get skipped and 5 will get printed so 5 is there next we have 3 plus then a string and then 2 so uh, this 3 and 2 will get sum up and the num and the number of that much character will be skipped from the string so a b c d a will be get will get skipped and rest of the thing f g h will get printed as you can see here and then the last thing is we saw the application like google.com and then 
the IP address so what we does is we need only IP address so we have skipped just by saying plus plus 15 so it will skip the 15 character from the beginning and we got this thing so we have got this so that's it for this video tutorial thanks for watching we'll look some other cool things about printf and scanf in the next video tutorial thanks for watching bye bye